Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And as you can see, Devontae Williams wins the Heisman Trophy in his junior year. And I mean, he pretty much led the nation in touchdowns. But look at what happens next. We thought we were going to the national championship, and look where we end up in the Rose Bowl. We drop two spots down to number four. How does that even happen? Let's just look at this, man. We need to figure out how this happened. Let's add these trophies. Looks like a lot of trophies here. Returner of the year, Kevin McDuffie. We won coach of the year. Man, this is insane. I mean, how did this happen? Let's just check this out, man. This is just crazy. So we thought we were going to the Natty here. Clemson actually is number two. They're number two. They beat number 13, Miami. You got to be kidding me. So it looks like the committee weighed who you played in that championship game. And based on that, they decided who's going to go. Because look at this. I mean, well, Washington played a better team. They played a 11-2 USC ranked number 10. So to me, it looks like uh, Washington should have made it over everybody. I mean, we were ranked number two. We dropped all the way down to number four. So this is insane, man. So we got to wait one more year to get our shot at the national championship. That's a disappointment, man. I got to admit, it's a little disappointing. Let's just look at the rest of the bowl projections because what a shocker. I, I honestly didn't even know. I, like I'm doing this live. I didn't even know. Like I just looked at this. And all of a sudden, you see, like, real life. This is what, <laughs> real life, the last two national championships have been Clemson, Alabama. And look at what happens. Clemson, Alabama. I mean, you can't make this up. You really can't make this up. So we end up in the Rose Bowl playing against Washington, which I'm not too mad at. This is a 99 overall team. And they're 99 in every statistical category. It's going to be no easy game at all. And... Let's see. So the Sugar Bowl looks like Auburn and SMU. I'm surprised SMU is this good. I mean, if you look at their statistics, they're pretty damn good. I mean, the number five offense in the nation, Orange Bowl, Virginia Tech, Stanford. Looks like both of them are ranked in the top 10. It's going to be a good game. Look at Virginia Tech. They got a top 10 defense, and Stanford's even got a top 20 defense. So a really big game. I mean, I cannot believe we dropped out of number two. It's insane. But, I mean, look at the other bowls around us. So, Missouri, Michigan. Michigan ends up uh, number 12 in the nation. Florida, Iowa. Iowa ends up 17, it looks like. Penn State ends up number 8 with three losses playing Georgia. So, man, I mean, I'm disappointed to say the least. But I guess you got to just play with the cards you're dealt, right? Uh, let's Before we start this game, let's just look at All-Americans. Uh, so it looks like Devonta Williams first team All-American. No doubt if he wins a trophy, he better be first team All-Americans. Let's see if anybody else made it. Raekwon Jones. I'm surprised here. Raekwon Jones gets first team All-American with 54 tackles, uh, two interceptions, three pass deflections, no sacks. I'm surprised. Raekwon Jones, right outside linebacker. And I remember he had that big game last year with uh, the pick and the fumble. Uh, recovery for a touchdown but besides that I mean he's maybe he's just been a silent killer I really haven't noticed him too much uh, but Riggins as, as you can see is an all-american corner in the slot man he did have a huge year he had five picks a sack eight tackles for loss he was getting off I mean if you look at his tackles he had 56 tackles Raekwon Jones had 54 so he had more tackles as a corner than Raekwon Jones had Marcelino Ball gets uh, All-American at the free safety position. No surprise there because he ended the season on a tear. And the man himself, Jonathan Crawford, huge year, seven interceptions, a defensive touchdown, four pass deflections, 61 tackles. So no surprise there. Let's just look to see. Calvin McDuffie actually made it too. Uh, so he ended up, I think that, you know, that kick return in the uh, Big Ten Championship may have sealed it for him so let's see if we had any second teamers here so 
Wilson here, uh, he started off the season pretty fast. He ended up with seven sacks. And Robinson, Robinson ended up with six sacks. He got a uh, second team All-American as well. Let's see if any of our freshmen did. So Michael Wilson, the receiver, four touchdowns. Joe Richard, tight end, seven touchdowns. So pretty good year for our freshmen and as well. Marcus Rutledge shutting down a whole side of a field, man. He had a really good freshman year, in my opinion. But, man, <laughs> let's just get into this game. I honestly... We got to show the committee what they were missing, so let's just get into this. Let's go. We got to come out rolling versus a 99 overall defense. As you can see, they're getting through the line already, and Ramsey is shook, missing a wide open guy to start the game. And on the second pass of the game, almost throws a pick. So Washington already forces a three and out on the first series, and we come back out on the next series on defense. Andre Brown drops an easy interception, so we give Jake Browning another chance here. But on a third and five, we send a little blitz, get in, he throws it away. So three and out for us, three and out for them. But as you can see, Ramsey is missing a target once again. That guy's wide open on a second and ten, though. He's going to throw across the middle. And look at this pass. Look how inaccurate this pass is. Look who this is thrown to. This is not thrown to that guy on the X. That's thrown to Simi Cobbs. Look at, look at how open he is. It's thrown to Simi Cobbs. And look where he throws the ball. So right away, Peyton Ramsey. I mean, he must be shook. But Gaskin, as you can see. Bruh. Come on, man. He breaks. So I don't even know if that's a broken tackle. My guy just like leans on him, doesn't even try. Look at this. My guy leans on him, doesn't even tackle him. That's Wilson. And he can't even come up with a tackle. So Gaskin breaks it for a long touchdown run. So that's 7 nothing Washington. I guess that's 99 overall or something. I don't know. But as you can see, we're going to try to get Devontae Williams going because obviously Peyton Ramsey, he can't start off the game throwing the ball versus this defense because, I mean, he's just straight shook. I mean, he can't make these throws. Look at this. Doesn't have the arm strength to make that outside throw to Simi Cobbs. And on a third down, tries to find Michael Wilson. I mean, that was just not even close. So, once again, they force us to punt the ball. But Jake Browning, all day to throw the ball. Throws the ball deep. But the that. freshman, Marcus Rutledge, is there for the pick from Roanoke, Virginia. He comes up with the pick. It's going to be a fun four years playing with him at, on the outside. And uh, as you can see, we're taking over uh, in our own territory. Ramsey's getting going a little bit, finding some easy throws, getting them involved little by little in the passing game. Devontae Williams going to give him the ball. He's going to convert there on a fourth and one. We got to go for it. It's the Rose Bowl. You got to. So Ramsey past the 50-yard mark once again, missing a wide open Joe Richard baby Gronk that time. But this time he does find Deshaun Harrison. That was actually a harder throw than the first one. Uh, missing the wide open Joe Richard and as you can see they're sending pressure and my offensive line is just no match for their pass rush as you can see we're just trying to get back in the field goal range we do settle for the long field goal that one's going to be through the uprights so Jake Brown is going to come back uh, at the end of the first gotcha, quarter we're going to get to him there for the sack that one's going to be Raekwon Jones the All-American and Jake Browning out of gotcha, second bitch. and 15. The next play gets sacked this time by Riggins. So third and 18. He, he, we're just playing prevent here, and we stopped them from getting first down. So now it's towards the beginning of the second quarter here. Peyton Ramsey's going to drop back, get hit that time, and at least we saved the sack. That could have easily been a fumble. Pretty sure if that was this gen, that would be considered a fumble, uh, especially in Madden. I mean, they have that, so you get hit. When you throw the ball, it's a fumble. But Gaskin, as you can see, on a second and two, it's just these short yardage. Uh, we get them stopped in the backfield, and they break it free. So coming back out on a first and ten, Jake Brown is going to throw it over the top. Riggins is going to get burnt on that one for a 54-yard touchdown reception. So we're down by 10, and we just got to get this running game going. Devontae Williams with a 20-yard rush up to the 50-yard line and here we are these easy throws I can't give him any hard throws because he will just straight blow it so once again giving it to Simi Cobbs he's shaking the defender there take another look at that one 
number one versus number one there. Simi Cobb showing he needs this Rose Bowl before he goes out possibly to the NFL. And just Sean Harris, another rare touchdown. He had a touchdown last game running the ball. This time he's getting open. And just Sean Harris, I actually said in the last video that he's a sophomore or he's younger, but he's actually a senior. So we're actually going to be losing him come next season. So uh, back to the game, just Sean Harris. Uh, like I said, we're losing a lot of guys, a lot of seniors. But as you see, Gaskin just breaking tackles, punishing our defense. Look at what our defense does. It just straight freezes on that play. He catches the ball, and our just defense just like straight up freezes. And it allows him to get a big gain. So Jake Browning on a third and goal, going to have all day to throw the ball, going to throw it to his receiver. And he's going to straight up drop it. So we're going to get them to settle for the field goal. So it's only a seven-point game. One minute left in this first half. Ramsey's going to roll to the right, attempt to throw the ball away on that one and not going to see anything open but on the next play that's almost a scoop and score but their guys miss it but look at this blocking their guy runs straight through my offensive line gets in for the sack fumble and just like that we had to punt it away so we had a minute left there we could have wasted the clock there but we attempted to go for it and try to get some points but as you can see Marcus Rutledge we need that pick. I mean, they're almost in field goal range, and we drop an easy pick. So what, are this, what does the CPU do? They take advantage of those mistakes, throwing across the middle, getting the first down on a third and six, 12 seconds left. Gotcha, Jake Brown is going to try to roll out, and that's the senior Robinson getting in for the sack. So we do go into halftime down by 10 points, and we're actually hanging in there. I mean, it's a 99 overall everything team. So we're hanging in there pretty tough here. So once again, Gaskin on a third down, getting that short yardage to get the first down. And Rutledge drops another pick, and we just need these turnovers. We're just dropping these picks. So on a third and 11, they're going to drop back to pass. Jake Browning's going to go deep to his receiver. Now it's going to be tipped. So we're going to force a punt here. So on the ensuing punt, they go for it, and Bryant, oh, misses the tackle. Bruh. Oh, boo-hoo. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. And, man, what? The, these opportunities were missing. We had him tackled. But, I mean, before the first down, he wasn't going to get there. Zeke Walker, I think that was, had him pinned, and... He just broke the tackle, kept going. So Washington is just capitalizing on all of these missed turnovers that we're having as a defense, and they're converting points by. I mean, they're they're absolutely just taking advantage. And once again, we throw another pick. That time, that was Tronti. Peyton Ramsey is hurt. But as you can see, look at this ground that he covers. He goes all the way from the middle linebacker position gets the pick so jake browning takes over once again and look at this he almost gets away from this sack he's like jogging away our linemen are so slow can't even get to him and they're facing a third and long and you already know they're gonna convert these long conversions it, it, they get every play exactly when they need it and gaskin is getting a draw play and look at this he just like does a little pirouette i don't even know what that was and gets out of harm gets into the end zone and we just need to show some signs of life and as you can see calvin mcduffie the freshman setting us up but Look at this, Ramsey out for the game with a mild concussion. So it's going to be Tronti from here on out. Oh, and Tammy. Oh, Timmy. I can't even say his name after that one. Timmy and gets absolutely lit up on that one. And he gets the ball back, showing that he needs this game because he's a senior as well. But on a fourth and two, they stuff it. So now they are up 24 points, Bruh. and look at this. Gaskin straight finds a hole, breaks the tackle by Rutledge, and gets into the end zone for the 57-yard TD run. And just like that, this game is busted wide open. So what are we going to do? We're going to see what we got. I mean, we're, we're done in this game. It's 41-10. to 10. So we throw Mark Ward out there, and this guy can't even throw the ball away. 
in time, takes the sack. So on a third and 16, he's going to throw the ball to Timmy. But what are you doing? Why are you throwing up like that? Throw it to him so he can get upfield. So on a fourth and 11, can't even give Timmy a chance. And just like that, man, that's going to be it for this game. Straight blow ends up being 55 to 10. I mean, we absolutely wet the bed. We probably missed a good like six turnovers in that game. And that really changed it because every time we dropped a pick, they took advantage and scored somehow. So as you can see, Ramsey was 11 for 28 before his injury. We just couldn't do anything just inaccuracy on our throws they had better athletes i mean it was obvious they had better athletes but our offense did not show up i i honestly cannot blame the defense too much i mean obviously they dropped those picks those were huge for us but i mean our offense just couldn't do nothing i mean our receivers were blanketed semi cows getting open but ramsey i mean our quarterback play was just horrible couldn't make any throws so we got some things to look at in this offseason. First, our quarterback position. What are we going to do there? I mean, <laughs> it's going to be tough. And pass rush is definitely number two to address. I mean, no pass rush being I'm done in like any of these games. I mean, these a lot of those sacks that we had in this game was because uh, break. I mean, we had great coverage downfield, not because of the pass rush. So we have that to look at. Then we have these seniors leaving that receiver. We had to replace them all. And Crawford, the All-American, we got to replace him. So hit subscribe, hit that like button, man. It's going to be an interesting offseason to say the least, but let's just get into it, man. <laughs> let's get it because we did not show up at all, but let's go.